Hello. Uncle Dan asked me a while back, why shoot thumb draw? And I thought that's a really good question because I started it three fingers under was how I was shown. And then due to a too loose a knock, but a great opportunity to shoot at a fifty yard post on a golf course. <laughs> I changed the split finger simply so as I could hold the, the arrow and the string, it was a bit mad, but hey, I immediately got hooked because, you know, at shorter distances, split finger's fantastic. You can draw quite a heavy bow, I can draw 50 pounds. I always shoot 35, 40 pound bows, but I can shoot a 50 pound bow quite the thing. I just, I shoot a lot of arrows. So, why shoot thumb draw? I bought a horse bow, you know, for want of a better term, a horse bow, no shelf on it, right? No arrow rest. And they're nearly always short, horse bows, and I got really addicted to it. But for a long time, I was still shooting three fingers. And then I thought, but that's no how they shot. You know, the Turks or the Mongols or the ancient Chinese or Koreans or any of them, you know. And even nowadays a lot of people still shoot thumb draw. So I thought I must give it a try. So the arrow goes on the right, which is really weird because you're kind of used to in a weird way even shooting instinctive. You do kind of see the arrow blurred, but you kind of it's there. But all of a sudden, the bow is in the way, you can't see the arrows, it feels weird. But the most practical reason for it is, look at this really short bow, and I'm going to draw it to just, um, just about 32 inches now. Look at the angle of the string. Finger pinch, plain and simple. If I try and do the same, split finger, this bow draws to 32 inches. Oh. I can just about get there, but it's really putting a strain on my fingers, and they're pinched together. My bottom finger and my index finger are pinched, so it's harder to get a clean release. There are only many bows that are that short that he shoots split finger. The only one I know is the Bayer Super Mag, but I doubt if it draws to 32 inches, and if it does, hey, good luck to it. The second thing is, on a horse, split finger, if you're moving around, your arrow's going to fall off, and the mine's catching because there's a wee groove in my glove, but generally your arrow's going to not be in the best, most stable place, very difficult to keep it stable and move around, look, if I put the arrow on the right, and then my thumb, and it's locked in place with your index finger, and then you can twist your wrist around so that your index finger is actually pushing the arrow against arrow shaft against the side of the bow. Now I can draw upside down. I can draw any old way I like. See the arrow isn't it budged? Not once. Not once, is it? Oh that's a temper, isn't it? Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> right, I better go and fetch that. Got it. <laughs> Sorry about that, it had to be done. Uh, the next thing is because you can pull a heavier poundage like that. Your thumb is locked. You can draw really, really smoothly. I reckon I could draw 60 pounds easily with my thumb without it suffering too much damage. The next reason it just feels super cool. <laughs> Boom! The shots are snappier off your thumb. They feel more powerful and you feel more like a sniper for some reason. So that's my biggest reason. It's super cool feeling. And you get better performance out your arrows and out of your bow, I think. And lastly, I want experience. For me, archery is about the experience, and I want to experience every style of shooting. I wouldn't recommend thumb draw if you want to be the most accurate shooter in the world, because you never will be. It's 
split finger's definitely more accurate with a shelf. I mean, with my Black Hunter, I can waste any of these wee bows, but they're just so brilliant to shoot. Wandering around in these woods, they're so practical. So that's why I shoot thumb draw. That's why I've almost always got a sore thumb. <laughs> but I also shoot split finger. At some point I may try and learn gap shooting just for the difference of it. Because the thing we instinctive, I always find it takes me a couple of shots to get my eye in or get my brain in. Where I think with gap shooting you could just walk up to a target and shoot it. The difference being, you then need to be able to gauge the distance and I'm rubbish at that so I think I might as well stick with what I know or don't know. So there you go Uncle Dan, I hope that answers your question. Would I recommend it for accuracy? Never, never. You can be, but not me. Would I recommend it for the sheer delight of shooting that way? Absolutely. Can he go wrong with it? Here's to the Lone Star State, Uncle Dan. All the best, mate. God bless. Ciao.